Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Todd from Land of Bikes and check out what's behind me. It's a new 2018 Roscoe and I have a lot to say about this bike, so stick around. So this is the Roscoe. The name was resurrected from the old Gary Fisher all mountain bike. Now right off the bat, I wanna make one thing clear. This is the Roscoe 7 WSD, which is a women's specific design bike. But this past year, Trek have done something that I really like. All their women's specific design bikes are actually a unisex frame. So the men's 17 and a half inch Roscoe 7 and the women's 17 and a half inch Roscoe 7 is the same frame. The only difference is color and the tiny WSD sticker behind the seat tube that's removable. In the past they used to paint WSD onto their bikes which was, to me was a mistake because a lot of guys wanted to ride those colorways. And the only other thing that makes it a woman specific bike is the seat. So this is awesome because if you like this color you can ride the bike and not feel like it's a woman's bike. Trek has been doing this with a lot of their models. They've done it with their Damani and a lot of their road line. And this seems to be a common theme in the bike industry, which I think is a really good idea. Up to the front, pushing that real hip hop up to the front. The Roscoe. It's a hardtail 27.5 trail bike with 120 mil travel on all the sizes except the 13.5 inch, which is the smallest size, and that's 100 mil travel. To the front, to the, to the, to the front. It has hydraulic disc brakes and a 1x10 drivetrain. All spec'd on this new Roscoe frame, which is an aluminum frame, what Trek calls their Alpha Gold aluminum. A little bit disappointed, I guess, to see a 1x10 drivetrain instead of a 1x11. It is Shimano Dior with a Shimano Dior cassette, which is kind of nice. I'm a little bit confused about the wheel size. Trek's philosophy has always been smart wheel size, which means any bike above a 15 and a half inch frame, so 17 and a half and above, gets a 29er wheel. Uh, and anything below uh, 15 and a half or a 15 and a half gets a 27.5. Trek has heavily invested in this smart wheel size for quite some time, but the entire Roscoe line is a 27.5 wheel size. RockShox has brought back the old Judy front fork and they've revamped it to be a bit of a mid-fat fork. So this particular one that comes on this bike has a coil uh, spring on one side and an oil bath on the other. It would have been nice to see uh, an air cartridge in there, um, but not on this model. This fork does have a rebound control and a turnkey lockout. Pushing that real hip hop up to the front, up to the front, up, up to the front, pushing that real now let's talk about the brakes. The brakes are very subpar. They are the exact same brakes that come on the Marlin 5, which is a $600 bike. This is a $1,400 bike. Exact same brake. That's kind of disappointing. And lastly, but not least, as you may or may not notice, that Trek has equipped this bike with the option to install a kickstand. There is a kickstand mount on this bike. Yay! Now I'm not quite sure who they're trying to appeal to, this to me seems like a trail bike for a customer who wants to mountain bike and that particular customer should never put a kickstand on their bike. Now if they do put a kickstand on their bike and they crash and that kickstand damages their bike, is Trek willing to pay for the warranty of that frame? Now the small portion that I think they're tailoring to is the individual who would like to commute maybe in the winter on a little wider tire and yeah, kickstand would be great. But I sure hope that people don't put kickstands on this bike when they're trail riding. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about the good. The engineering and the innovation and design of the frame, which is gonna come out a little bit more expensive and it is a really fantastic frame. This bike comes in just under 30 pounds, which is pretty surprising for a mid-fat. It just kind of has ugly welds. They might call them smooth welds, but they're not smooth welds. One thing that's for sure is that Trex G2 geometry does handle phenomenally and this bike will ride really nice. In addition, Trek has spec this bike with Schwabi Rocket Rons, which I think is a huge upgrade for this bike. They're tubeless ready wheels, they're super gummy, and they're a pretty expensive tire for this model. My guess is Trek just didn't have enough Bontrager tires to equip these bikes in their warehouse. The new Judy fork, even though it is a coil and oil fork, has a really nice feel to it. 
even though I was a little bit picky about calling out some of the uh, shortcomings, I do feel like this will be a fantastic bike. I feel it will meet the certain client that is targeted at, since most bikes in this price range are either 200 bucks less or 200 bucks more and spec'd pretty equally. Thank you.